New question, the member from Leeds, Granville. Thanks uh, very much, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the uh, Premier and his capacity as Minister of Agriculture. Last month, uh, Premier, you were missing in action when a century of excellence in agriculture education was put in jeopardy listen, when the, the Kepville College closure announcement. Last week, again, Minister, you were missing in action again. It was your ministry that committed uh, $2 million to the University of Guelph to reinstate some skilled trades programs, but failed to do your job in adding those core agriculture uh, courses. The ag community was very clear. Any program that didn't include ag was unacceptable. And, and the agriculture community further wants to remind you that Kempel College isn't a trade school, it's an agricultural college. Yep. When are you going to stand up as a minister and stand up for farmers and farm families for agriculture education? Minister of Agriculture. Speaker, you know, uh, the, uh, the member opposite knows full well that uh, as soon as we knew of this situation, both with Alfred College and with Kempville, um, my parliamentary assistant, the, uh, the member for Glengarry Prescott Russell, was on the job, Mr. Speaker, and was making sure that we found solutions. And we did find solutions, we Mr. Found Speaker. We found solutions with funds attached to those solutions, Mr. Speaker. So I have been very much engaged in making sure that we work with the University of Guelph, that we work with the colleges, that we work with the community to make sure that a solution was put in place. If the member opposite is suggesting that I shouldn't have gone and visited the people in the Belleville area, Mr. Speaker, who were uh, struggling with their, uh, with their flooding issues, if, if the member opposite— It's with regret. The member from Prince Edward Hastings is named. First Agriculture Minister. You don't give a chance to those in Ontario. Order, please. Please finish. But just to say, Mr. Speaker, that it was uh, it was very important to me that we find a solution on the Kempfield programs. It was also very important to me, Mr. Speaker, that I was able to meet with people in the Belleville the area. Member from as they deal with the, will come uh, to order. The Thank you. New question. Uh, sorry, complimentary. Premier, Premier, your farmers and farm families across Ontario know one thing, and they know one thing that it's you, Minister, that aren't doing your job on this farm. Minister, let me contrast what a Tim Hudak Ontario PC government would do for Ontario. We'd make private sector job creation a priority and grow agri-food and agriculture sectors by supporting the education programs they need to stay competitive. Support. Under a Tim Hudak government, the University of Guelph would get Minister the same the answer they got order, from previous PC agriculture ministers who wanted to close these campuses. The answer we give them was no. Yeah. Students in those ag diploma programs Question. who can't begin their education in Kempville this year because you said yes. When are you going to stand up for agriculture education in Eastern Ontario? Stand up for those students. Thank you. The member from Halton come to order. Finish, please. Oh, Mr. Speaker, I, um, you know, I understand why the member opposite and uh, that party believe that it is in the interests of their. Uh, their party to drive wedges between groups of people in Ontario, to drive wedges between rural Ontario and urban Ontario, Mr. Speaker, to drive wedges between people who work on the farm and people who work in urban centres. I don't believe that, Mr. Speaker. I don't believe that it's in the best interest of the province's future for those kinds of wedges to be exacerbated, Mr. Speaker. But that is the politics of division that they practice. We made an announcement last week, Mr. Speaker. Actually, it was this week on food processing. Over 60 food processors, Mr. Speaker, over 60 groups that are getting local Answer. food funding, Mr. Speaker. That group calls that corporate welfare, Mr. Speaker. They're wrong on that, and they're wrong on the support for 